Welcome to Satoshi Swiss Crypto. This is where we transform your crypto journey. Are you tired of constantly monitoring the market? Now you can trade like a pro without being glued to your computer with our $1,000 to $100,000 trading challenge for just $79 a month. You can automatically mirror my trades. Subscribe today and elevate your crypto game with Satoshi Swiss. Let's conquer the crypto world together. Press the first link in the description below to join, and let's now finally start with the video. This month, the RCEO of Ripple made the decision to push XRP Ripple to an all-time high. I promise you're not prepared for what's about to happen. The burning of hundreds of thousands of XRP currencies is about to occur. Thoughts differ nonetheless. Some analysts declare Ripple's demise and charge them with trying to con us. What is the truth, though? Is it better to buy more coins or sell all of ours? Don't worry. This video contains all the answers. Let's dive straight in. Withdrawal. Global cryptocurrency payment provider Ripple released its crew free report on the 2023 XRP markets. They stated in this report that the XRP coins that are presently in their wallets and those that are locked in on Ledger escrow will be distributed gradually over the course of 42 months beginning right now. This implies that you will be able to use or trade these coins. The process will likely last until 2020, seven or so, indicating Ripple's intention to gradually regulate the amount of XRP that enters the market. Let's dissect it a little now. The cryptocurrency linked to Ripple is called XRP. When a coin is described as an escrow, it indicates that part of it is stored on the blockchain in a manner akin to a locked vault with access granted only during designated periods or under particular circumstances. Instead of releasing all of its XRP at once into the market, Ripple is distributing it piecemeal. Why? Well, this cautious handling helps avoid an abrupt influx of XRP into the market, which would lower its value. In order to preserve stability and control over the flow of XRP, Ripple is distributing the release across a number of years. This is a widely used tactic in the cryptocurrency space. One way to keep a cryptocurrency stable and valuable is to manage supply by limiting the amount in circulation. It's comparable to when a business gradually releases stock to maintain market stability. Every month, Ripple automatically releases 1 billion XRP currencies from their escrow wallet, which is integrated into the XERP ledger from a unique guarded vault. As previously stated, this regular release adds to the overall quantity of XRP coins that are usable, exchangeable, or transferable. Based on the facts presented, there were approximately 54 billion XRP coins in circulation. But there are billions of XRP tokens in Ripple's escrow wallet. For example, the amounts kept in the escrow wallet between June 30 and September 30 of 2023 are about 42 billion and 41 billion XRP, respectively. This indicates that Ripple had an estimated total of more than 5 billion XRP tokens during those two months alone. Due to their inclusion in the escrow and delayed release into the market, these coins help to regulate the supply of XRP and ensure its controlled flow. Up until about 2.27, Ripple's original strategy was for a monthly release of XRP. There are concerns over this timescale, though, given Ripple's recent actions, which include returning the majority of the freed money to their escrow accounts. August marks the beginning of Ripple's practice of escrowing back a sizable amount of the released XRP currency. This behavior implies that the expected XRP unlocks may take longer to occur than originally predicted there is now some doubt about how quickly XRP will actually join the market due to the decision to place the majority of the issued coins back into escrow. It suggests that the release and distribution of XRP may require more time than first thought. By reserving these currencies, Ripple is demonstrating a more cautious approach and may extend the period before releasing all of the XRP reserves that they had originally intended to issue gradually. Experts fear that this may have an impact on investor perceptions regarding the supply of cryptocurrencies and how it might affect their value in the long run. Right now, the XRP community is debating a lot, notably on sites like X. Burning the XRP currencies kept in Ripple's escrow wallet is something that a lot of community members are requesting of the corporation that created XRP. 
In the Bitcoin world, burning now denotes the act of taking a specific quantity of coins out of circulation forever. It's similar to permanently removing them from the market and reducing the overall supply. The scarcity of the surviving coins may increase their value, which could have an effect on their value. Consider it this way. Let's say you own a toy that is limited edition. If some of those toys break or disappear overnight, the ones that are still there gain value since there are fewer of them in circulation. This burning suggestion is important for XRP holders. It is possible to raise the value of each currency by burning some of the remaining XRP supply. The remaining XRP supply the remaining XRP may become more rare if Ripple decides to burn any of its coins from the escrow, which might increase its value. While some may view the consequences of such an action differently, others may think that burn some of the coin's supply could help holders by possibly raising its value per coin. The XRP army's peak capitulation phase. Ripple has to set fire to the escrow right away. According to an ex-member, they have done nothing but dump on XRP holders who stood by them during the biggest lawsuit in history with the SEC. It's true that a lot of XRP enthusiasts believe that burning a portion of the coins kept in escrow could cause the price of the coin to soar. They think that burning XRP will reduce its overall supply, creating a scarcity that might increase the coin's value. It is apparent that XRP hasn't seen the same degree of notable price gains as other cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana. The value of those other altcoins has increased quite a bit, but XRPI's price hasn't exhibited a comparable trend. There are rumors that Ripple might burn through billions of XRP. In the Ledger community, there is discussion about the prospect of burning a substantial chunk of your escrow XRP. An ex-member stated that such a move could lead to a price increase, benefiting present XRP holders. Another community member made a solid point with that one. A similar circumstance has already happened with XLM, but the coin burn didn't have the desired effect on the price of the coin. As some members of the XRP community have suggested, XLM lowered the overall amount of coins by a burn of coins by a burn of coins. As some may have predicted, the price of XLM didn't significantly move or spike in spite of this action. This XLM example demonstrates that there's no certainty that burning coins will immediately and directly raise a cryptocurrency's price. Because of the intricacy of the cryptocurrency industry, a number of factors outside coin burns affect price fluctuations. A few elements that can affect a cryptocurrency's value are market sentiment, adoption, usefulness, and total demand. It is imperative that the XRP community takes into account these past examples and realizes that, although burning coins could make them scarcer, it may not have a clear effect on pricing. As demonstrated in the instance of XLM, it's not a surefire way to raise the coin's worth. It is important to approach conversations and actions pertaining to coin burns with an understanding of the larger dynamics of the market as well as the lessons learned from earlier experiences in the cryptocurrency field. Isn't that absurd? The common belief is that a product's price increases when there is a lack of something. But, as we can see, this isn't always the case. We are interested in how it will affect the community's choice and price in the future. Most people currently think that burning will be profitable and that Ripple will reach $1 in January. Still, some people are opposed to it. They worry that it might result in a price decline and a decline in investor trust in the Ripple Corporation. What are your thoughts on that? That is the only question that remains. Will that destroy our cherished cryptocurrency? Do you think the XRP Ripple will rise? Which predictions do you have? Comment down below. We have now reached the conclusion of this video. I appreciate you seeing. Please remember to subscribe, leave a comment with your questions or comments, and hit the like button if you found the information helpful and enjoyable.